this bit one. sad, really. We've got to yay and clap ourselves, give ourselves a clap. Um, here we are, back on Squeal Channel 31, your community station, as our good friend Tabitha would say. Um, and here today, normal television not. Yeah, that's right, normal television not. Um, here today we have um, Kesara. How are you? I'm very Welcome back. That's just bizarre being here on oh, Ben no. TV. It's very strange to have you here, but welcome today. It's nice to and be here. It's very nice for you today. And Akash, welcome. Hello. Thank you so much. Which I have on good uh, wording is H- H- Hindi for sky. For all sort of for sky or, yes. or pagan for spirit. Well, there you go. And um, you two have been putting on a little bit of a, of a number, a bit of a show. Yeah, Trinity right Drag Act. Trinity Drag Act. <laughs> Really? No, because think about Kasia, she's a fabulous musician and she makes me oh, sound like you. a singer. Like a singer. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm enjoying that you part of quite my a life. Big voice. Yeah. It's a, well, it's something newish for you, isn't it? I, I so think everybody can sing. Do you know what oh, I mean? Definitely. Like, I actually think everybody can sing, but the thing you've got to have somebody musical behind you yeah. to help keep you in key. Yeah, that's because that's, that's yeah. the key, isn't I'm it? To sing. So, what have you been doing? Well, I've, we've been working on this cabaret, which mm-hmm. is called the Naked Dragon, which is in fact closed. So this oh, goes through a Monday. That's fine. That's good because it's coming back for the comedy festival. Fantastic. And I'd love you all to come and see it. All yeah. sixty thousand people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So how, how did you come up with the name the Naked Drag Queen? It's actually, although it hasn't ended up like that, but it's based on the Naked Chef, who's that really gorgeous mm. British guy. Jamie. Yeah. Jamie. Yeah. And I was watching that one night, and I realised I was watching it for all the wrong reasons because I thought he was quite good looking. And because he's the whole philosophy behind his cooking is to strip the recipes back to the core, and I thought, well, wouldn't it be funny to do a show around that? You know, the naked drag queen to stick strip drag back to the core. But the thing is, everybody just oh. comes along to see me take my gear off, well, that's which, that's I, that's which I do do. You do. I do. And I she does it right down well to my little. Too. To I pasties and a g-string. I can't say. No, I'll, don't give too much away. Can't give don't too, give much, too away. much away. I take oh. a couple of items of clothing off. Do you? Yeah, I do. That's very brave. <laughs> would you? <laughs> <laughs> what I was just going to say, brave Tabitha, would you do that? And then I thought about, you know, <laughs> leg waxing. I mean, how many times have we seen um, Tabitha's crutch on bed TV? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, honestly, <laughs> God, more times. <laughs> yes, more <Yay>. times. <laughs> 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 She's not ashamed at all. It's not ashamed at all. Yeah. Um, all right. Oh, and my Johnny. You, you two <laughs> like minds met at the verging of what crossroad? A cash and I? Yep. You say? Oh, we were sort of doing a, a nice um, a charity gig for a group in, yep. um, in South Melbourne. And we basically, I was, I was DJing. And we bumped up there and went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and sort of started jamming from there. Yeah, went and it uh, went on from there. Jamming. Oh, exactly. Yeah. It and, and how's the show gone? Has, has it been great? We've had a fantastic response, had yeah. an excellent yeah. audience. I'd like to thank all the, the 20 people that came to our first <laughs> week. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, the second week was great, big audience. Yeah, and so it was uh, two Very weeks. Very receptive, because I think right. the whole singing drag thing, I mean, I think it's fabulous, but I think Melbourne's sort of still trying to get... And it's, it's not... I mean, I think mime is great, but I can't do it. I just cannot mime. I'm not a mime artist. But I like singing, mm. and to to Melbourne's credit, people have been very encouraging, well, even mm. other drag queens. To my, great. to my memory, in in uh, in Australia, the, the only other one that sings live is Julian Day, <laughs> and I've seen her <laughs> mother. Sing, yeah, she sang <laughs> at, at Club Fabulous back in Adelaide back in the eighties. She sang live there. <laughs> um, but in London, can you sing tap? In London, no, I bet you can because you've got such a strong <laughs> speaking. Uh, I was actually head chorus to at St Paul's Canterbury <laughs> for about. Um, <laughs> Yeah, years and years and years. And, and also, Caress was head chorister at St Paul's you Cathedral. And, you and Caress doing a live number. We want that. that. We the, want it, Caress. We the, want the, you and Tabs doing The choir a live girls, you can call ourselves, and Absolutely. get back in our cassocks and surpluses and Absolutely. start singing out a few tunes. All right, we're going to go um, to Robert, who's on the news desk, as we've already said. No, wait, if it's very hard. Because you're waiting, because you know for drag it's hard because you can rely on the song if they don't like the performance. But it's hard doing your own voice because you've got to rely solely on that. It is. is. It's scary, but the thing is it's really rewarding because you can play with the lyrics and, you know, like make the song your own. But, um, is that, are we doing a fill or something? Oh my, but the Balcro on my shoe just went. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't pass wind, did that? <laughs> <laughs> I hate Balcro, I swore I'd well, never use it. Um, I've just been informed, and, and uh, if I read my running sheet, I would know that you are going to actually perform for us tonight. I would do a good number, you do a number. Yeah, a bit, will, bit of yeah. a number, you're going to do a number for us? All right. Well, while we go to news desk, maybe you guys want to pop off and get prepared for the number? Oh, we'd love she to. just yeah. do that? Off. All right. She just didn't know that was a Balcro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now can we go to Robert? Now we can go to Robert. 
Hello everyone again. Hi Bobby. Hi. Entrapment by police has been alleged by a man using a public toilet in where else but Camp Road, Broadmeadows. On arrival, the man noticed a woman in a car and two men talking at the entrance of the women's toilets. One of the men entered the men's toilets and acted in a slightly suggestive manner, rather like our golden boys I imagine. No, not that suggestive. The man, the man did not act upon this provocation, but on exiting the toilet, the woman approached him, stating she was an undercover policeman, and she claimed, policewoman even, and she claimed that the man had made an advance towards her colleague in the toilet. She demanded to see his driver's licence, and um, after a bit of fast talking, he was eventually allowed to leave the scene without being charged with anything. Now, before I run out of time, I have to announce this one. The Victorian AIDS Council is urgently seeking volunteers willing to do some safe sex stuffing. That is, people to come in and put together safe sex packs for distribution throughout midsummer. Sorry, Paul, no. They also need safe sex sluts. You might be able to do this one. People of a more extrovert nature willing to don their glad rags and flaunt yourself around Red Raw and the Midsummer Carnival distributing the safe sex packs. Uh, anyone wanting to do that can call Henry at the Victorian AIDS Council on 98656700. And I did a bit of uh, safe sex stuffing. It's not too bad. They put the radio on and it's lots of fun. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, Robert. And, um, yeah, that sounds interesting, <laughs> <laughs> safe sex stuffing. I don't like tight shots because it shows on my crow's face. Don't you, Lizzie? Hey, shut up. <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. <laughs> I'm going to choke on a jelly bean. All right. We are lucky now, lucky enough to uh, have a performance of uh, the Naked Drag Queen. So um, we're going to cross over to that. And Kay and Akash, take it away, guys. <laughs> What goes up must come down Spinning wheel got to go round Talking about your troubles it's a crying sin Ride a painted pony let the spinning wheel spin You got no troubles, got no hope Spinning wheel is all alone Drop all your troubles by the riverside Ride a painted pony let the spinning wheel fly did you find the directing sign on the straight and narrow highway? On the straight and narrow highway. Would you mind? Would you mind? Reflecting sign. The reflecting sign. Just let it shine. Let it shine in your eyes. In your eyes. And show you. Show you the colors that are real. I've been happy lately, thinking about the good things to come. I believe it could be Something good has begun I've been smiling lately Dreaming about the world as one And I believe it could be Someday it's gonna come Peace train sounding louder Right on the peace train Ooh ah ee ah ooh ah Come on the peace train Peace train holy roller Everyone jump on the peace train Ooh ah Come on a peace train Come on a peace train Ride on the peace train Ride on the peace train Come on, come on, come on, come on the peace train Ride on the peace train And of course, that was Kay and Akash from the Naked Drag Queen, which was part of the Midsummer Festival. Just finished, unfortunately. Now, you've got something that you want to share with us. I have. I've got a little news item here. Aussie and Madam's Face Music in the UK. Did you, did you read this? No. no. Two Australian lesbian former brothel madams <laughs> who led such an opulent lifestyle they rubbed shoulders with the Queen were yesterday warned they faced jail in Britain. Now, apparently, these two women, who also happen to be lesbians, have been defrauding people for ages to the tune of 
$1.1 million, $1.1 million all up, which I think is a fabulous nice uh, achievement, nasty. actually. <laughs> but I'm just wondering why. I mean, they're, they're, they're in the UK, and, you know, they've done all this fraudulent stuff and everything, but why on earth does the article always have to go, two Australian lesbian former brothel managers? Like, yeah. what is... I'm surprised it doesn't what, say their age. Well, it does. <laughs> well, actually, it does. Yeah, they're 56 and they're 50. And if I had children, they'd say how old they were too. It's just, it's just a, a little bit annoying. <laughs> but how do. do people get away with this sort of? How are they fraud? defrauding them? What, what well, they basically, doing? what they do, they just, they just uh, convinced a lot of investors to spend money on business ventures which never so actually social. existed. <laughs> I, just, I wish I could do this. No, I, 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 I think they're saying because they're lesbians, it's fair because so many straight people do it. Now only one no, lesbian. Oh no, I thought they were saying maybe that um, actually straight people don't do it, and that's the whole point. Oh no, thousands of them. Oh, Look really? at Scacy, Bond. I know. Oh, and please. what's happening there? Don't stop. Yeah, these two will probably, you know, get cancer and have to, you know, to have move. to stay. Is that, is, oh, sorry, it's my, that's my, that's my pace. That's my heart pace. It's shocking I'm shocking state of impact. affairs. Okay. Um, so, there you go. That's my news There you go. Today. Fraudulent people. Well, I found this people. one that um, I thought was quite interesting. It, um, it's a good one. It's watching the news and it was um, in Canberra. Scientists this, this week accidentally, I love that word, accidentally created a smallpox type virus oh, yes. um, which they fear could spread develop, uh, development of biological wars, so uh, weapons. Um, Accidentally created yeah. a virus. Gee, I wonder if that's happened before, maybe. Well, obviously, just didn't something bring out about... their fridge, did that? Well, that's right, I mean, yeah. Well, it's virus. Oh, yeah. Oh, fridge. Can can a virus. Oh, oh, Tabitha's getting. We're live online. Tabitha's getting messages on her SMS. <laughs> 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 yes, like they have that phone on. But I just thought, yeah, that that was really quite interesting. Mm -hmm. that, you know, um, they can mutate that disease to make it kill people. They're yeah, nice. Oh, shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, totally. But you know, they, that other little people. virus that gives no, us all so much trouble, I wonder if that was accidentally created. If those scientists got together with these two madams, God they'd have a multi million dollar business. They would, they wouldn't they? Would, yeah. All right, we are going. Thank you very much to Kay and to yeah, Akash yeah. for that fabulous performance. Next up, we have Bruce McNichol coming in from the Melbourne. I can't say that word because my thank you, my <laughs> mummy's watching. Come back and see us. Do that. Bye. Pulling us up. <laughs> Where's the Melbourne Conscious Hall? Her hands are never cold. She's got better day.